Okay, so this is my third time trying to record this video. It's been a complete disaster and I'm hoping that this is the one that makes it, so here's hoping. This video is going to be the first of a series that I thought of, and that series is called Korean Cutesies, and this edition is going to be the stationary edition. And since I live in South Korea, I thought it'd be really cool to show you a lot of the things that are in Korea, and the reason it's called Korean cutesies is just, that would be the word that I would pick to describe Korea, it's just, it's really, really cute, like, everything is cute, the people, the way they act, the stationery, the hair accessories, the products, the advertisements, like, it's all just, like, really, really cute, and, uh, yeah, so I have gathered a bunch of things that I have bought a couple of things have been given to me of just really, really cute stationary stuff. I've gone really crazy on the stationary stuff. This isn't even a chunk, like not even a good chunk of the things that I've purchased in the past 18 months of living in South Korea. So I'm just going to go ahead and dive in and show you some of the things that just I think are really cute and are a good representation of the things that you can find in a Korean stationery store. I'm kind of going to start from bigger things to smaller things, so it's just kind of easier to go through the things that I have sitting around me. So the first thing I'm going to show you is this notebook. Now this notebook was given to me by a friend, and uh, when I saw it, I just thought it was a notebook. It's spiral bound. It says monthly planner on it, and uh, I just thought it was a notebook. Even though it says monthly planner on it, you never really know like what's going to be on, on a notebook. And this, well, this one is pink and this like clear part has the stuff written on it and then there's just this pink underlay so I thought I don't know it's kind of weird or whatever then I opened it and it's actually a monthly planner and at that it's a blank monthly planner so you can use it anytime that you want like you can start it in March you can start it in January you can start it in August if you want to start it for school or whatever like you can start it whenever you want and I love that so you can write the month and the year, and you can fill in the dates, and then, so I think there's 12 or 13 months, and then, in the back, is all notes, so like the rest of it, like probably another 15 pages, is notes, and I am a planner, and a note taker, so this is perfect for me, I figured out where she bought it from, and I went and bought like four more, so I've got enough for like four or five years. <laughs> then, that same friend also gave me this notebook, and this notebook you can tell it's just really floral, and on the front it says, Out of gratitude, happiness makes up in height for what it lacks in length. And ironically, that makes sense. Like, that's probably an English proverb or something. You never really know what you're going to find in a notebook because it can say anything, and it doesn't have to make sense at all. And on the back here, there are, like, nine different patterns. And when I saw this, I thought it was, like, a collect all nine kind of thing. I was like, oh, that's kind of cute. I want to, I want to maybe go pick out a couple more. And I opened it, and it's actually all nine patterns, and I love that. As a list maker, this is going to come in handy. I will use this a lot. I might have to go buy three or four more of these. <laughs> Also, I was given this notebook. This notebook was given to me by a student on my birthday last year, and it's half a heart, and it says I love you on it. And then you open it, and it's a whole, of course, it's a complete heart. So, uh, yeah, it's just a little notebook that I thought was really, really adorable. I also picked up another notebook. This is one that I purchased. One of my favorite treats in Korea is banana milk. It's delicious. It's wonderful. I'll probably talk about it in another video or two. But I picked up this notepad, notepad and uh, it's just a banana milk notepad. And it looks like a carton of milk. And I thought it was super, super cute. I had to pick it up. It was adorable. Growing up, I loved Anne of Green Gables. I grew up on Anne of Green Gables. I loved it then. I love it now. I watch it maybe not annually, like I have to have a good chunk of time to watch it, but I probably watch it maybe every year, but it's been a while since I've watched it. Mm, yeah. So I was in a stationery store the other day, and they're really into like Alice in Wonderland, Wizard of Oz, 
things like that that have characters that they can build on and illustrate and and things like that. So they also have had some Anne of Green Gables things and I jumped when I saw that. Like I was like I have to have everything that they have in Anne of Green Gables. They don't have as much Anne of Green Gables as they have Wizard of Oz or Alice in Wonderland because obviously those are more popular things. But um, I picked up this and it actually looks like a book. Um, but it's not. It's another planner. It's a weekly planner. Oh, I've got stuff falling out of the back of it. A weekly planner that's also blank. So I can use this anytime I want. So I probably won't use this for a while because I have a current planner that I'm using. But I love that I can eventually use this and really enjoy it. And, you know, I don't have to use it this year or even next year if I don't want to. And it also came with some stickers that I actually bought before I knew it came with these stickers. So I have two sets of these. But the other stickers are down there, so I'm going to show you those in a second. I'm going to show you some actual stationery. Um, I There's several of these little sets. They don't cost very much. I think each of these maybe cost me a dollar. So this is the note paper. It's pink and white striped, obviously. And then this is the envelope that goes with it. Oh, it's so cute. I love it. I can't wait to write some people with using the stationery. I've got a couple more. I actually bought, bought these last year around Valentine's Day. So they're all Valentine's related. Then there's this one which has hearts all around it. It's just pink, several different shades of pink, different hearts. And then this is the envelope. I don't know what the first word says, but the rest says, I love you. Saranghao, that means I love you. And in English it says, sweetheart, you color my world with love. And then the last stationary one is this one that's red. It has hearts all around it. It says, please always know that I love you more than anything else in the world. That's cute. And then this is the matching envelope that goes with it. I've got one more thing of stationery, and this is probably something that you couldn't mail because it's so small, but this is the paper that goes with it. It says, just for you, wish you all the happiness in the world. And then this is the adorable little envelope that goes with it, and it's very, like, um, old school you know, post office style. I thought it was so cute. One of the other Anna Green Gables things that I picked up while I was at the store were these. These are pencils and each little one, there's two sets of, four sets of two and they are Anna Green Gables themed pencils and they're just so, so cute. Also, pencils here in Korea usually don't come with erasers on the top. They have separate erasers that they use. That's just the way it works here, so I don't know. Most of the pencils you will buy will not have erasers on them. But there are cute erasers to go with your cute pencils too, so whatever. Then I went a little crazy with stickers because I don't usually buy a ton of stickers, but I saw these and I thought I, I just had to have them. Like, they weren't your normal stickers and ugh, I've Seriously, there's a ton of them, but they're all, um, they're all themed and they all look like stamps. So this one is London themed and it folds out. All of these are London themed, but they all are shaped like stamps. They're all different and they're all really, really adorable. There's London ones, there's Paris ones, New York, I think there's one that's like just Europe style, and then the other one is an Anne of Green Gables one. And they're just really adorable, really girly, really feminine, and they have the characters on them. There's Cordelia Fitzgerald, <laughs> and um, Diana is on here, Gilbert Blythe, of course, Marilla and Matthew, and then some things that they like do in the movie or books too. So, so, so cute. And when I bought them, Something else I thought that was really cool was the background. The backgrounds were really, really cute, and, you know, I was like, oh, I want to save those, but when I pulled them out and you flipped them around to the back, they're actual postcards. You can cut them and mail them, and I thought that was such a great use of packaging. Like, it's cute, it's not a waste, it's not something I'm going to throw away, and I might actually use it one day, or at least, like, I might decorate a page or something. 
so good and not wasteful. At some point, I picked up this. This is a little world map. The coloring on it is really cool. It folds out. It's all in English. And something that you might notice is America is not on the left. In Asia, Asia goes on the left and America's on the right. So that was a little bit hard to get used to, but now I'm used to it. When I first got here, I picked up this guy. It is our girl, I guess. It's a Hello Kitty pen, and it's just, you know, it's her silhouette. It's got a really cute 3D bow on it, and I, I love it. Like, as soon as I saw it in the store, like, I had to pick it up. Most of the other things I have down here are really small, so I can probably go through them really quickly. I picked these up randomly one day. There's a couple of them. They were, like maybe 50 cents. They sell a lot of these kinds of boxes here in Korea, like that's just kind of what you wrap things in. I have no idea what I'm going to put in these, but I'm sure I can find something. They're really adorable, and I like that they are the same colors, but different prints. My friend also picked this guy up for me. It's a hedgehog, or maybe a porcupine. I think it might be a hedgehog. And then there's this background behind him, which is like a pink and white polka dotted background, but it's actually a notepad, like it's got lined paper on all of them, so you can peel it off and make a little note. I don't know where I'm ever going to put a hedgehog note, but I have the option if I need it. I was mildly obsessed with washi tape before I came to Korea, and when I found out I was coming to Korea, I knew that I was going to go crazy when I found washi tape. It took a little while for me to figure out where it was, but as soon as I did, I went crazy. They had tons of it. And I haven't bought any in a while, but these are some that I've picked up and I I love it. You can do so much with these. One of my favorite things to do with these is to wrap it around a tea light candle and it just adds a little bit of flair to your tea light candle. It can be quite boring, but so, you know, I picked up some solid colors and I also have some print colors, print colors, and uh, this is just a a striped one, a multicolored striped tape, but I love these. Another random thing that I picked up are these guys, and they look like tickets. They say vintage ticket on them, but they're actually bookmarks, and you just clip it on the page to mark your spot, and it looks like a really cute vintage ticket. I have somewhat recently become obsessed with K-pop and K-dramas while being in Korea, and I haven't bought any paraphernalia <laughs> yet, and uh, I, well, until a couple weeks ago, and I picked up these guys. Now, this is Lee Min Ho, and he is probably one of my favorite Korean actors. Well, I have several, but he's one of them, and I found this, so I had to pick this up. And they are notepads. They're not post-its, they're notepads, but each one has like different pictures of him and stuff on them and it folds up nice like that. And then this one is EXO, which is a K-pop group with 12 members. Six of them are Chinese and six of them are Korean and they have pictures of them all over these two. So I am loving these and my students kind of love them too. And last but not least, I have this little guy, and uh, it's a cat in a box, and uh, the cat is actually, you guessed it, a post-it note, and uh, these, uh, my friend also bought this for me too, and there were several different ones of these, there's like, I think there's three different cat ones and several different dog ones. And the dog ones actually have a little like dog house box that they live in or on or something and you have to actually put this box together itself but it's a dolce and banana banana box but i mean come on how cute is that i have no idea where this guy is going to go but uh so that is my first edition of Korean Cutesies, the stationary edition. I will have more coming. I've got several different ideas for different Korean Cutesy projects. 
If you have any ideas of things that you might want to see, of things in Korea, I don't know, I know I have a hair accessory one that I'm going to do. I've got a couple different ideas, but if you have any ideas, leave comments in the comment section below. I would love to have more ideas of different Korean cutesy videos to do for you so you can see some of the things that I see every day in Korea. And yeah, I think I'm going to do a Korean cutesy video probably once a month. It depends on how many ideas I come up with. I really like this idea. I think it's a lot of fun. It's different. It's not beauty related. Some of the things might be beauty related. This one obviously isn't. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and click subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you in my next video. Bye guys!